In this video, I'm going to show you charging by conduction and charging by induction using this Java applet at shep.net. Uh, but first, let's look at charge separation. If you click on this first box here, you will get the charge separation Java applet. And what you see up in the right upper left hand corner here is a black plastic rod that has been charged negatively probably by rubbing fur on it or some such thing. And if you click play, the plastic rod near, moves near the electroscope but not touching the electroscope. And what happens is these negative charges, the electrons in the electroscope, move away from the top part of the electroscope down into the leaves. And the leaves now have an excess negative charge they still have some positive charge in there, but they have more negatives than positives. And since they have an excess negative charge, they repel each other because they have like charges. And when you move the plastic rod away, the charges move back to their original locations, and the electroscope goes back to each positive charge having a negative charge near it and thus being a neutral atom here, a neutral atom here, these charges represent six neutral atoms in the electroscope. When I play it again, as I bring this negatively charged rod near, the negative charges move down to the leaves and the leaves repel. Now what I want you to notice about this is that the electroscope is not charged. There are still six negatives and six positives on the electroscope and the electroscope is thus net neutral with no extra charges. The charged rod up at the top here has not touched the electroscope thus it has not transferred any charge. So let's go back up to the menu and let's look at charging by conduction. Charging by conduction is when you take this negative rod and you bring it near and you actually touch the rod to the electroscope and thus transfer negative charges to the electroscope from the rod. And so now if you look at the charges on the electroscope you'll notice that there are eight negative charges and only six positive charges. Thus there are more negatives on the electroscope than there are positives and thus the electroscope has a net negative charge. If I go back to the beginning, do that again, I bring the rod near, the charges go down to the bottom. Oh, this is charge separation. I'm sorry, let's go back up to the menu and go to conduction. Play again, bring this near, touch, charges are actually transferred from the rod onto the electroscope. I've used a negatively charged rod to give the electroscope a negative charge by conduction. And when I take the negative rod away, the leaves stay apart. Whereas if you go back and look at charge separation again, if I bring the rod near, the leaves separate. And if I take the rod away again, the charges come back up and the leaves go back together. But if I do conduction, I bring the rod near, charges are actually transferred during conduction take the rod away and the leaves stay apart. So charging by conduction, if I use a negative rod, I get a negative net charge on the electroscope. What do you think would happen if I used a positively charged rod and I brought the positively charged rod and I touched it to the electroscope? Think about that. If you can't figure it out, ask me in class. Okay. Now let's look at charging by induction. Charging by induction is when I don't take the negative rod and touch it exactly to the electroscope, I touch my finger to the electroscope or some other grounding wire and induce charges to leave the electroscope. So let's watch this here. Negative rod comes near, but it's not touching. There are no negative charges from the, electroscope, from the rod going to the electroscope. The rod still has just as many negative charges as it had before. However, if you go back, rewind, see now it goes to charge separation. That's quite annoying. Let's go to the menu, induction, 
Okay, so now if I play again, bring it near. Now this is the symbol for grounding it. This is the electrical symbol for touching it with my finger. Did you see what happened there? Let's go back a little bit. When I'm touching it with my finger, as I step forward now, this negative rod is repelling the negatives in the electroscope. And the negatives in the electroscope can actually leave through my finger or this grounding wire or whichever, um, some conducting path to the earth so they can escape. So those negative charges leave. Now they're gone. As long as the negative rod is still there, there are negatives that are pushed down to the bottom. And so the leaves, and so there's negative and positive here, negative and positive here, but there are two positives at the top without any negatives. So this electroscope here has a net positive charge, two positives at the top, four positives at the bottom, and four negatives at the bottom for a total of six positives and four negatives on the electroscope. And so thus there's a net positive charge, but why are the leaves still together? Well, the excess positive is all at the top because the negatives are being pushed down to the bottom. If I take the negative rod away now, as I step forward through this simulation, these negatives spread out all over evenly. And so now everywhere there's an extra, po there's extra positives here, there's extra positives in the leaves, there's extra positives. And so now these leaves have more positives than negatives and they repel each other. And I've used a negatively charged plastic rod to give my electroscope a positive charge. So when I charge by induction, I give the electroscope the opposite charge of whatever I use to charge it with. Okay, and the order is very important here. Um, if we start this one over again, charging by induction, bring the rod near, but don't touch. Now touch with your finger and the negatives leave. Take your finger off and then move the rod away. And you end up with a positively charged electroscope using a negative rod. If you charge by conduction, here's charging by conduction, you basically just take the positive negative rod touch it, the negatives get transferred, and you end up using a negative rod getting a negative electroscope.